Okay, at the end of this video, you will get this thing. Uh, it will look like this: uh, your name, email at gmail.com, and your password. Mahesh one two three. Submit this thing. You'll get this thing. You can update this thing. Um, Mahesh one two three or attach. Change this email demo one two three and submit this thing so now delete this thing so let's get started Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I am your host Mahesh Kari, and you are watching me on YouTube Live today. We are going to create kind of full stack web application with the Spring Boot, MongoDB, and React as a front end. So let's deep dive into it. So I am going to use Docker for now for my for installation of MongoDB. So Docker, search for Docker for Mac for your system. So you will get this very first link over here and download this thing for your system. It makes sense to use docker. I always use docker for installation of anything. And the next thing is you can use uh, mongodb uh, com as well uh, and you will get 500 MB of free storage in cloud. Uh, you have to just fill this form. You can use this method as well or otherwise you can uh, install mongodb inside your system. It's all up to you how you use it right. So after that once you get docker available inside your system you just have to uh, you have to start docker manually you will get this little icon over here and search for docker hyphen version you will get current version of docker docker hyphen hyphen version and you will get current version of docker so currently I am using 19 then uh, docker pull mongo enter and uh, you will get mongo image from docker hub it will take some time and after that we will create a container docker or run uh, hyphen hyphen name provide name of container my mongo my mongo is my name of container in detach mode i will publish on 27017 colon 27017 which is my uh, default code for mongodb and next thing is uh, what was that the name of image mongo colon latest and that's it i guess mongo run let's see okay that's it i guess now you can start this container now it's already running search for docker ps and you will get this container running inside your system so mongodb is successfully uh, available at this port 27017 6 seconds before so let's do it uh, you can use spring cli as well if you want to i always use spring cli to generate my projects so uh, the another thing is i'm going to use uh, visual studio code for m my editor so you can grab this from here code.visualstudio.com I always use this uh, editor you can use any editor by the way but I highly recommend you guys to use it so let's deep dive into it so open your code and uh, inside view command now I have to install few plugins if you don't have it uh, search for Java and you will get this Java extension pack over here, here if you are working on Visual Studio code you have to have this thing available otherwise it will not work okay search for spring enter you will get this spring extension pack over here spring boot extension pack you have to have this available inside your system the next thing is lombok because we are going to use lombok so we don't need to use getter settings anymore uh, you have to install this after that inside view command platter search for spring initializer and you will get this maven link this is same as start.spring.io generally we use uh, start.spring.io so this same as that choose java version then your artifact uh, uh, group id hit enter then your uh, artifact id hit enter it will ask for the 
uh, version boot version 2.3.2 and your dependencies like web as usual spring web a uh, select swim spring web then uh, mongodb or uh, data mongodb actually so uh, oh, where is that spring data mongodb this one no sql and the next thing is lombok as usual and hit enter so make sure that you have uh, extension available of lombok so hit enter I, I i'm using three dependencies for now hit enter uh now your location on inside desktop i'll i'll uh inside full stack i'll create a new folder full stack okay and inside full stack uh i am going to create folder let's see so i got my folder i guess uh you can hit op on open if you want to let's see open okay but but i i have to open this thing close this up open code once again and drag this full stack folder right here on the top of your visual studio code because we are going to use react as well so you have to have node available inside your system make sure uh search for where is uh search for node.js.org and you'll get this from here you have to have node available inside your system i already have it and inside your terminal search for node hyphen hyphen version and or node hyphen v only so it's is in my system and npm hyphen v npm node package manager so we can work with react now open your integrated terminal from here terminal integrated terminal and search for npx this is my uh, back end okay i forgot to uh, name it back end so now what was that npx create a react app or space the name of folder as usual front end or uh, my app okay and uh, it will grab the template for you so now we can work with web okay it's time to get started and uh, inside source main java you'll get your package io.mesh.web is my package now you can create another packages like user is my schema user.java now uh, the next thing is user dot uh, repository oh where is that what happened rename it repository dot java hit enter and close this up don't save it don't save it and you will get this pop up if you get this a uh, click here exclude in workspace so uh, it provides settings and launch settings uh, as well so uh, it's fine now the next thing is you need to create a controller inside here inside web user controller dot java hit enter so we now we can create a schema uh, so my package name is io dot mahesh dot web as usual uh, my public class name will be user uh, inside here i am going to define a private string in id as usual i am going to use user i always use this uh, method name private string email private string password that's it i guess name email password and now i have to define few annotations like this is my id and uh, this is my document because we are working on mongodb and the next thing is data so from lombok so we don't need to use uh, or uh, no augmented constructor and augmented constructor all augmented constructor all args constructor that's it i guess uh, so my schema is ready to use now inside your repository search uh, type for package i dot mahesh again you can use uh, the name of packages like repository controller it's all up to you 
so again uh, public interface oh, what was that user repository a uh, user repository which will be extended by my mongo repository as similar to jp repository mongo i'm not getting suggestion uh, let's see what the mistake we have made anyways uh sorry mongo repository hit enter choose your name of schema user and the first primary key a uh, type of first primary key string that's it so this is ready to use now let's see what the mistake i have made nothing i guess you can define repository here no no so uh, now inside my controller uh, you can define here this is my rest controller or uh, simply controller okay uh, the next thing is at auto wired so we can connect with our user repository user repository and user repository okay now in gate mapping we are going to use this link it will take a while okay don't worry about it and my public method will be now uh, will be written type will be list of users get users and here in return we will return a uh, user repository dot find all as usual the next thing i'm not going to do validation as usual uh, you have to do it on your own uh, in next time i'll find for the specific id okay so inside here i have to define my path variable will be type of string id and uh, in here i'll use find by id method find by id string id or if we don't get that particular user then in else i'll return null so uh, this will be my get user method and in return i'll pass only single user this time so that's it so i have to import something here list uh, where is that okay so that's it now here at you can close this up uh at what post mapping okay i got this good in post mapping uh your path will be same as this and a request body type of user user and a written type will be again user i guess okay and this time user repository dot save so we will save that user that's it and put mapping i'll use a uh, again same method but this time public method written type will be again user and name of method will be put mapping and again at request body request body and here i'll pass my new user okay this is my new user and but before that i have to find my old user so which will type of user my old user so equal to by this method again because we have id we can find that id from here new user dot get id so that's it we got a old user now in return we will uh, return old user again after modifications so my old user dot set name then my new user dot get name 
for rest of them i'll use the same method name email uh guys uh, i have to change my theme i guess so it will be better for you uh this is better okay email email this is standard uh, thing password so that's it we have done it now inside put and uh, now it's time to work on delete mapping and here public method return type will be string okay name of method delete user and at my inside my path variable string i'll get th this id inside here this is my paths and this is my id which will be the type of in return i'll pass id and in here i'll delete by id this is method and i have to pass id that's it i guess you have to do validation if this is not available then we will do this or bad request or blah 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 it's all up to you so that's it we have uh, i got this thing inside here my app folder okay this one so now we can work with that so now you can use postman if you want to otherwise uh, swag we will use swagger so search for postman uh, this is testing tool for our uh, download this thing and this testing tool for our restful api uh, what was where is that i don't have postman it's completely fine if you are working with uh, swagger so you don't need to install postman swagger.io this uh, it provides a documentation for your all uh, restful endpoints so i already have we have to install this uh, extensions okay this is free don't worry about it uh then now here so inside view command platter uh search for maven and add dependency you will get this make sure you have uh, properly installed all the extension from here okay and then you will get this thing uh add dependency uh, search for uh, spring fox hyphen swagger to enter and you will get this very first uh, link over here this one click here and uh, here it will automatically write this thing inside your pom.xml you don't have to write this thing so change this thing into 2.9.2 so uh, it's easy and then you will get this pop up you have to choose always but right now i'm using now so i uh, you'll get this little uh, spinning icon over here okay done it it will take a while maybe if you are doing this for first time and next time again add dependency and search for spring fox swagger ui and hit enter and you will get this ui over here this one again you have to change the version to 2.9.2 okay hit enter select now that's it so we are good to go now i have to make few changes uh, inside my user controller uh, make sure to use uh, request mapping over here request mapping and choose for hyphen api forward slash api sorry make sure to use this thing okay and the next thing inside your uh, user application demo application or whatever it may be uh, you have to enable swagger here swagger too so i got this okay this thing so this is perfectly ready to use okay now i can close this up i forgot something i guess yeah i i have to define my close this up inside resource application properties here you have to define spring dot data dot mongo db dot uri and your mongo db colon slash slash localhost colon 27017 slash any database name i mean test or rest or we are working on web so save this thing that's it we are good to go now 
you will get this thing over here spring boot dashboard select web this is my spring project and you will get this thing okay this is running i guess let's see uh, if we are getting error we will get error i guess you can use spring cli maven cli as well i already have it maven installed inside my system i always used to work on cli so and then open your or safari or whatever it may be and search for localhost colon att slash swagger hyphen ui dot html if everything is all right we'll get this thing no we are not getting it means there is a problem okay don't worry about it and the next thing is localhost colon att okay there is a problem inside my web src package demo application user controller name of package i dot mahesh okay completely fine uh, i dot mahesh dot web okay enable swagger to everything is perfect so where we are getting this problem slash api slash hit enter you will get this empty array over here so it means it's fine but when i use this thing swagger ui.html okay i got this i don't know why why for the first time i okay it's fine so inside uh, your user controller you will get this method get so all the endpoints it will automatically show you all the endpoints uh, like uh, localhost colon atat slash api slash don't get confused okay this is just a ui and proper uh, uh, it will generate automatically so you can pass this e uh, links to anyone for uh, front end developers uh, so click here try it out and execute this thing you will get this empty array over here so uh, that's this is working so uh, inside post uh, try this out and inside here you can pass your json like my email id is mahesh karya at gmail.com this is my official id name is official mahesh karia and my password is i don't know password okay save this thing execute this thing and you will get this response body it will generate id automatically so it's working so now you can copy this thing so we can test or put api it's uh this is working don't worry about it you can shake this thing okay okay let's see now we have to work on react on other hand so close this up all the things close this up close this close this uh, our backend section is completely ready now inside app you will get this source folder now i have to delete unwanted things like logo index.css blah 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 i'm going to use materialize for my react i don't need service workers for progressive web app you can use you have to use service worker so it makes sense i always use setup.test i don't need this thing delete everything don't worry about it you will get app.js and index.js that's it we need these two things now inside app.js uh, delete everything this css logo i don't need this thing inside this header i don't need header remove this thing and, and uh, this is my class app which and extends uh, your react react dot component and in here render render and return this thing okay we are we are ready i guess so now the very first process is to use a materialize css materialize css.com and here you will you know click here get started you'll get this link so here these two links copy this thing you can download this thing like by npm install materialize uh, it's all up to you how you use it but this is very big and friendly video i'll use the simplest method because for the first time when i learned this thing with the same process so in uh, inside your index.html remove this thing i can close this thing let's see 
okay remove this unwanted data inside index.html okay and paste it over here remove this unwanted data unwanted comments we don't want it and search for icon icons.html here you will get all the icons we need these icons that's why copy this thing and paste it over here inside here okay so we are ready to use this thing uh, okay now here remove this thing now I need a now bar so we made the same video with mysql as well you will get suggestion I guess over here on top right corner top left I don't know so here search for now bar dot html and you will get this thing you can copy this thing paste it in in the, uh, it's not a proper process to paste in index but uh, for now uh, this is my admin panel remove this thing we need a router we are not going to use a router for now you have to do this on your own if you want to work with router and all or in another video you will get this thing okay uh, this is my menu and menu two kind of things menu three copy two one so that's it let's see how it works uh, for that you have to open your terminal click here uh, and uh, you will get this thing inside your cd into app and uh, npm start hit enter it will take time i guess okay now uh, in here this is my class name will be container i guess container container inside here dot row i guess it's not working i don't have emit available inside my system I got error this index.css because inside my index I have to make changes I don't want this thing I don't want this thing I don't want these two lines now we are good to go now copy this thing now inside container there should be a row okay a row and inside here we need a two columns this one and this one i don't have beautify okay now here call s6 i guess it should be m6 or l6 or whatever so now here i need a form so we'll design ui first and on submit we'll do something okay so search for oh, i got this thing so search for form uh, autocomplete and you'll get this thing over here so you can grab this thing from here if you don't like copy paste then you can type this thing and this is kind of crash course so i don't have to mess up with the, anything else so uh, make sure you will get errors because the syntax of jsx is to close this thing and close the images anchor tags whatever i don't know not anchor tags now copy this thing for the three times name email password as usual this is uh, your icons so you can find icons from here and uh, from here use any name okay i knew it I know few names like person this is mail and this is uh, vpn key vpn key this name of icon okay from here you can choose any icon so now here the first one will be the type text second will be the type of email and third will be the type of password okay the next thing is uh, you can use on change method uh, whatever it may be placeholder placeholder i don't have any placeholder my god my god let's see output how it looks autocomplete okay in here 
enter name email and here password so we are good to go now here in here i have to define my what was that uh, constructor i guess constructor and inside constructor pass props and this dot state i guess will be inside here users will be type of array id will be type id will be zero okay uh, the name or uh, the email password and it should be small i guess i don't know let's see we'll get error okay password and the next thing is component dot did more okay i have to install few things like from here uh, this dot state is not defined because inside here super call super props i guess i guess i guess i guess everything is perfect okay what the mistake i have made uh, super props uh, state state not defined what happened this dot state is not defined this is my constructor it should be line number six five okay okay sorry sorry <laughs> the symbol dot extremely sorry for that uh, now we can we have to install a few things click here so we can see the side by side and ls in how oh, okay we are in f folder so npm install axios so i'm going to use axios you can use it if you want to make sure to use hyphen hyphen c or hyphen capital s now in here in component dot did mount i have to wait for it come on okay done it so i can use now you can close this thing click here close this thing uh, okay now inside here axios dot gate i have to import axios import axios from axios okay now i can use this thing colon http colon okay you can uh, you can copy this thing from here uh this this link okay get method this link i need this link dot then i'm not going to use async of it or right, we can use it it's all up to you in here in response i'll i'll use uh this dot state set state and in here you can use users will equal to re response dot body i guess i guess i guess but at the same time you have to make a few changes again copy this thing paste it over here i'll tell you why because every time when we uh, call this thing component dot did mount of, uh, after any action so it will automatically turn this thing into this format empty format okay so uh, in short refresh the page now here we will write method first like submit submit we need event and we need Uh, id so submit method will use for both the cases for post and update the data so we need id if id equal to 0 it means we are posting data otherwise we are updating data 
so in here if event dot prevent default you have to call this now the next thing is if id equal to equal to zero means we are obviously we are posting data else we'll do something else here so here axios dot post in post we have to pass two parameters the first thing is you can get this from here inside post where is that where is that okay inside here you have to pass two parameters first one is this the link and the next thing is your array okay so in array you can pass uh, the name email and password like name will be this dot state dot name as usual name is capital name is capital name email password this is my email this is my email this is my password this is my password that's it i guess so uh, once we do this okay dot then call uh component dot did mount i guess no this dot component dot did mount okay like this so it's fine now you can copy this thing because uh, the remaining process is same okay and this time we have to pass id and this is my put method we have to pass id i small okay id and id oh uh, that's it i guess that's it i guess you know what guys i have to change uh, something the the you, this thing name email password okay i don't have to mess with this thing okay here we go now uh, next now uh, this is perfect i guess input method we have pass all the parameters now in delete in delete i just need to pass id so i can uh, delete that particular user okay so axios dot delete and this time i'll pass check this over here inside delete uh, where is that I think I have to click here try it out oh, anyways I'm not getting you can paste the same link over here but this time I have to pass ID okay so you can concatenate this thing from here like this ID okay so, and dot then this dot component dot read amount i think it's perfect if uh, we delete the data then we can refresh the page and the next thing is edit when we click on edit button you we have to fetch the single user so we can update the data so in edit we will pass the same thing id again and this time i will use the same method but uh, with get data for that particular id and once we get the response body over here so we can 
वी कैन सेट स्टेट ओके सेट स्टेट एंड लाइक आई डी विल बी आई डी विल बी आर एस डॉट डेटा डॉट आई डी आई गेस आई गेस आई गेस आर एस डॉट डेटा डॉट आई डी या परफेक्टली फाइन नेम ई मेल एंड पासवर्ड नेम ई मेल पासवर्ड विल गेट एरर आई गेस इन दैट नेम ई मेल एंड ओके नेम ई मेल एंड पासवर्ड सो वी गॉट दिस थिंग ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज इन साइड फॉर्म ऑन सबमिट आई हैव टू डू समथिंग ऑन सबमिट इवेंट वॉट हैपन ऑन सबमिट event and uh, i'll call this dot submit here this dot submit and we have to pass uh, the event and this dot state dot id for the first time it's obviously zero and the next thing inside here input you have to define value okay so this for the first time it will be uh, uh the empty okay all the time so when we set our value so it will be this dot state dot this dot state dot uh, name okay and for the re rest of them again this is empty for the first time name email and password but when we change something over here means on change we have to set state this dot set state and in here you can uh, change on in, in every key uh, input you can change the name to uh, like uh, event because we have event dot target dot value okay this is perfect i guess yeah perfect so in here on change email okay and in here on change my password this is perfectly fine guys i guess uh, then uh, the next thing is remaining on button you don't have to do anything i guess oh uh, just i just need to change this thing where is button i don't have button i don't have button where is my materialized css oh my god oh my god materialized css i have to search for button oh my god i don't have button okay this thing i'll copy this thing paste it over here and right here how to make few changes uh inside here r i g h t so it should look pretty uh that's it i guess let's see how it looks like okay submit uh now i need a table so the table will be the normal table no need to write class names and all even though i am going to copy this thing um normal table just html nothing else remove this thing and wanted data because we are going to look through it that through this single thing and here name email and password and the next thing is edit delete edit delete edit and delete and in here uh, when we use this thing so we can use this dot state dot users because we have users and you can map 
through uh, that individual user and uh, when we do this you will get you you can copy that tr inside this so oh, we are perfectly fine now in here you can write this thing user dot name same for rest of them email and password you can encrypt password you have to encrypt password in backend I am not going to do this okay the next thing is button as usual uh, but this time I'll use same button but just icons nothing else here if you are getting confused what I'm doing this is crash course so you can check my uh, series on the same pattern okay uh, right okay this is perfectly fine I uh, just need to remove this submit and in here this is name of my icon so edit is available and copy this thing again for delete so delete will show the trash icon over here but while uh, i have to define something like on click method on click method uh, i can call this and uh, this dot edit over here this dot edit and you can pass the id over here like user dot id like this so that's it and on here on click here I can use the delete method that we have just used over here this thing edit and delete where is delta okay perfectly fine so this is perfect I guess uh, let's see okay I need triple equal to make sure to use triple equal to where is that where is that where is that if else this one because uh, equal equals to equals to means uh, we are uh, checking if id is 0 and this is 0 and triple equals to also checks the data type as well if this is id uh, this is type of int this is type of string it will not work if we are using triple equal to if we are using double equal to this is string 0 and this id int 0 then it will work that's it let's see uh, if it works uh, it will not work for the first time i'm pretty sure about that my hash one two three submit so as usual it's not working so local subscribe and ett on submit on submit where is on submit on submit this dot submit e dot state so okay oh my god the main thing i have messed up with something inside here web uh, inside your source main i told you guys i forgot to do something inside here inside your rest controller user controller you just need to write this cross origin okay to allow other urls to access your data or to allow specific url like this http of that particular uh, static ip or whatever it may be it if you write simply cross origin it will allow all the urls to access your data so after that you just need to refresh your java thing okay so uh, i've done it i guess let's see how it works again name email at email dot com email one two three now oh, please okay okay thank you so much so inside 102 t body something i am messed up with something uh, inside app table body okay here we go well okay i got this this is not arias dot body this is arias dot data a small mistake my god so i got this thing so what is that what is that i have to i have to remove this thing what is that 
what is that the button I ah, okay remove this thing right from here and right from here as well let's see how it looks like oh my god name action what is that okay this right remove this as well perfectly fine okay 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 delete this thing and now the last time mahesh karya gmail.com uh, mahesh123 submit this thing edit this thing uh, put at it uh, mahesh dot karya put at it submit this thing so again edit is not working it's fine let's see what the mistake we have made with edit okay 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 in here you don't need to write this dot state dot id just id that's it oh my god oh my god i realized that before doing this thing i have to save this user old user dot save nee no, sorry the user repository dot save was my mistake dot save so i can save my old user and i have to save my old user before doing anything else and refresh this thing now it will work definitely okay extremely sorry for that uh miss convenience okay now in here app.js you can uh, replace this all the class names with like this change all occurrences where is that change all occurrences and this is my class name and uh, the value for this thing uh, change all occurrences to html f capital 4 so it's fine and h is small and the na next thing is the key of dr okay now it's perfectly fine and now we can check this thing add it at okay this is working thank you very much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time if you need a few uh, more updates on this thing let me know inside comment box if you want some more videos uh, let me know whatever it may be about any technology about anything i'll make videos for you guys thank you so much